road show. It's going to be another great show. It is. They are positive, they're motivational, they're inspiring. And uh, yeah, we're still hitting the road in a big, big way. And, and hey, on the road fans, uh, we just hit our 10,000 mile mark with the Schulte Subaru Outback and uh, means we're still hitting it hard and still finding great stories. 10,000 miles, that's a lot. <laughs> we just finished our second longest road trip we've ever done and that'll be for our August story. But tomorrow night's stories, you don't want to miss them. You don't. Well, I know we've talked a little bit about your, your next, the trip you just did, and I can't yeah. wait for that one, but Thank we have you. to talk about tomorrow's episode. So we're starting in Kennebec. Kennebec. Um, folks, this storyline is so incredible, but uh, a young man who's a high school uh, senior, all of a sudden he uh, decides to volunteer some time, and he's uh, purchased in like a little auction setting. And come to find out uh, years later, he becomes the president of a company and one of the biggest supporters of the town of Kennebec and so much more. It's a powerful story. You don't want to miss it. I really enjoy these stories because you don't get the opportunity to hear them very often in some of these more remote settings or, you know, we're just all busy and we're not getting out there on the road to hear them. Uh, Ashley, the, that's one of the reasons why I think this show is so popular is that we are covering and we're identifying stories of small town Kelloland. Uh, and there's all these positive, great things happening in these small towns, but they probably don't get as much attention as in some of the big boy and big girl towns, like a Sioux Falls or a Rapid or Minneapolis, whatever it would be. So yeah, whether it's Kennebec or Burke or Eagle Butte or Trip, these are, these are, there's great stories out there. Let's talk about Westington Springs. This is a fun one and it's a little personal to me but uh, uh, on the road viewers, if you, you, you know, you, you know I'm always trying to relay some sort of message uh, to inspire others to do something similar. Well, here are the stories about leaving this land better than we found it. Uh, the importance of conservation, the importance of protecting our land, protecting our waterways. And, and this story in Western Springs does this. It's on the Gerald County Conservation District, as well as Conservation, conservation districts all over the state, all over the Midwest, all over the country, and the power uh, that, that they are for not only farmers and ranchers, but for city sickers too. Well, you know, Kelloland is, we are a community of agriculture, and, and I think everyone's going to appreciate that story because nobody knows better than a farmer how important it is to leave your land better for it, the next it, generation. It, um, uh, one of the things that I think that we will pay more and more attention to are the importance of those, those shelter belts, those tree lines, uh, those grasslands, those, that, that habitat that maybe we took for granted that no longer, you know, sh should we? Because um, back in the olden days of the dirty 30s and, and the erosion and the wind problems, uh, we don't want to go back to that. And this is just a story in terms of uh, these men, these women, these heroes all across Kelland that are trying to, again, plant trees again, plant grasses, getting their hands dirty, and ultimately leaving that land better. The last community we're gonna talk about is one I really enjoy this community, Burke. Yes, uh, it's a really good town. And they're investing in their town. They're, they're, they're motivated about all the good things going on. And there is a steward there that's been in the healthcare profession. And what a time to talk about the healthcare profession, these nurses, these doctors, these people that are on the front line. Well, Fran 80 has been on the front line in Burke Community Healthcare for over 60 years. And she's still on the front line today. Um, uh, I don't know when she's gonna retire. She's gonna make the choice, but she's still working today. Uh, we're celebrating healthcare workers. And this is our feature story for tomorrow. You don't wanna miss it. It's really fun and really powerful. And, and uh, I think something we'll all celebrate. There's a lot of really fun things going on in Berg, too. A lot of these communities yeah. around Kelloland aren't necessarily growing, but they're really investing in the community. You know, they needed money to, to help uh, strengthen their health care system there. And so they made an addition onto the Burke health care system. And in no time, they raised all kinds of stewardship dollars to invest back into that community. We talk about that a lot on On the Road, the importance of stewardship, the importance of investing, the importance of staying uh, fully, fully motivated to make your small town great. Well, here's another example, Kel Ann, and, and you're going to enjoy it. Don't miss tomorrow night's show. Tomorrow uh, night. Keep sending us ideas. We love them. They're powerful. 
And you bet, thanks to Kelland, thanks to our sponsors like Intech and Farmers Union and uh, of course Schulte Subaru, we're still on the road. We're still motivating people, inspiring, lifting people up and uh, I'm, just, I'm just thrilled to be part of it and so, so thank you all. All right, 10,000 miles down on the Schulte Subaru. What's the next 10,000 miles look like? Do you have any big plans? I've got some great stories out there. We are, uh, we're going west uh, again. Uh, we want to do another a long West River road trip. We went northwest, uh, kind of in the middle of the town. We're going to head as close to North Dakota as we can. Uh, you don't want to miss that one. And yeah, there's just, uh, I've got some great stories lined up. And uh, thanks to Kel Land, we're gonna we're gonna bring them to light. And uh, hey, and I also can't thank you all for watching. It's a very very popular show. And uh, all I'd ask is that there are still folks out there who've never seen Kel Land on the road. I don't get it, but uh, <laughs> so grab family, grab friends, grab some enemies. I don't care. Right. Because bring them on and, and let's watch on the road. Well, I know it's popular in my family. They're thank always you. watching thank it, you. making sure that they can. Thank you. you know, they love these small town stories. You know, well, yeah. I, I, folks do. Yeah. You know, most of us uh, are kind of from small towns uh, in this Kelland area, and if we're if we're not, we know we know we the know value of them. Well, all right, tomorrow thank night's you. the night. I can't wait to hear about these communities. Don't miss it. And the next one's going to be amazing too. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks for all you do, and give your mother and father-in-law a hug for me. I will. Thank you. I will. <laughs> In our continuing effort to help us all find some positive in our world, you can catch this month's episode of Kelloland on the Road tomorrow night. You can catch the entire July episode with all three complete stories Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time, right here on your Kelloland station.